Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a video tour of SBB Mobile Shell 3.0. This is the follow-up, the brand new version of SBB Mobile Shell 2.0, which is the extremely popular and, and very well-selling uh, Windows Mobile interface replacement. What this does is it changes the entire look and feel of Windows Mobile. It covers up the ugly interface that is Windows Mobile. So we're going to show you some of the major features here with the Diamond 2, and I think you're going to be super impressed. Uh, they've really made a lot of changes, and it's really really great. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on the screen here. So this is a very similar screen to what you're probably used to seeing if you have Mobile Shell, right? So from this screen, you can see your, your appointments that are coming up. You can tap on any of the appointments to see the calendar, although this screen is a little bit different and it looks a little bit nicer. We can go to the next day and scroll through, or we can just use our finger to scroll through kind of like an agenda and just see the succession of all of our appointments. Really nice interface there. If we go back to the screen, we can dial right into uh, emails nothing unusual there. We can go into missed calls if we have any, we can go into SMS if there are any, or we could go over here to volume and change the profile that we have set. Now what's really neat is that there are two versions of this panel. This is called the professional panel, and if we flick our finger upward, we get the lifestyle panel, and this is really, really cool. It's fully customizable, so what you can do, there's actually three panels, one on the left, one on the right, and one in the center. The one in the center I've customized to have the weather if I tap on it there, the battery life over here, I've got the clock in the center where, where I can have multiple uh, city times if I'm traveling, which is great. I've got the calendar here, so at quick glance I can see my next appointment. To the left, I call the girlfriend screen because with one tap I can dial the girlfriend. And to the right, I've got some miscellaneous things showing up on the screen. Let me show you how this is customized. It's really great. Uh, in the bottom right corner here, I'm going to tap this button. And from here, I can add a widget or I can edit the layout. Well, I am going to edit the layout. Now, what we get here is a grid selecting all of the items on the screen. We can either move things around by tapping in the bottom left corner or we can get options from certain uh, components of this screen by tapping on this bottom right arrow. And so here I can tell uh, Mobile Shell to go put this on the left page, on the right page, or remove it. Well, I'm going to ignore that. Um, some of the icons have different settings, such as this one will allow me to, well not this one, but certain icons allow you to change the size. And so here we're seeing pretty much the same icons. And to set that in place, we do a check. And let me go to the right here and show you how to add widgets. So we go to Add Widgets, and you can add a lot of different idgets, widgets. We can have missed calls, voicemails, indicators. Um, we can have links to any program. So if we want to do an application link, we can type, we can click on there. Expand the category, we can do History. And here's that button, and we can actually change the size. So we can make it small, medium, or large. We can add text to it. Very, very customizable. You can see how you could spend a lot of time making this your own. And when you're done, you press the check mark down here, and it is set that way. Now, here's something that's also super, super cool. On the bottom left corner, you press this button, then you get this brilliant 3D looking display that does a, an extremely good job at visualizing all of the different panels that are included in Mobile Shell. So we can go right to the weather panel. Also a little bit different, if you press the start button, you are taken to the SPB launcher. So it shows you recent programs, which is great. Uh, you can tap over to the right to get kind of the old style SPB mobile shell interface. So we can tap settings, we get the roll forward. And let us let me show you some of the settings that you can do in SPB mobile shell 3.0. Uh, we can turn the animations on and off. It actually uses uh, quite a bit of battery life, I think, using this uh, the 3D acceleration. If we go to system, we can determine if it should be using the 3D acceleration, and we can also determine if it should be overriding the start button. You can change the language there. In the weather uh, setting, you can have it update automatically, which is always a good idea, but if you have a data plan that is not unlimited, maybe you want to turn that off, and you can change the temperature scale to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Another thing you can do from this lifestyle screen, and remember there is the professional and the lifestyle screen, is change the background, which is great. So we can go to change background, and let's choose something a little bit different. Let's choose this red background. And just it just changes it, changes it a little bit. A final thing that I want to show you is all of the colors that you can choose um, for the, the whole interface. Right now there's kind of a blue setting that I'm using. So if I go to themes, I can change it to something a little different. So let's do uh, green. 
and it takes you to the standard uh, today screen, but we can go right back into uh, SBB Home, and let's get a background that really uh, works better with this green background. I'm going to use the leave here. That looks a little better. Maybe it's a little bit difficult to read. I'll have to change that. So overall, SPB Mobile Shell 3.0 is a terrific successor to the program that many revere to be the best Windows Mobile interface. This may turn out to be one of the best-selling pieces of Windows Mobile software of all time. That said, it's going to retail for around $30, which may seem like a lot, but considering that it gives you a totally new phone experience, considering that the performance is fantastic, um, it, it really may be worth, worth it. There's a lot that we didn't get to show you here, such as the context carousel, and you may see some familiar faces here. Um, one problem though, while using this software, my battery life has taken a huge toll, more so than using you know, TouchFlow 3D or another interface. Uh, SBB has made mention that um, the early release version that reviewers got may be different than what's finally released. So it's likely this is a bug that will be ironed out in the final release um, when this starts selling. So that's it for now for SBB Mobile Shell 3.0.